Hey, uh, good morning. If you can uh, get seated here, we're going to get going this morning. All righty. All righty. Yeah. Hey, hey, we just want to get going this morning. And uh, as you guys know, it's the third Sunday of the month. And that means we don't do the normal, traditional boom, 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 and a speaker. But we get into small groups. And that is something to way to connect with each other, to talk about the things of God as your facilitator moves you within the questions. And um, so that's going to happen today. And but one of the things, I'm going to tell you a quick story. First, I have a lot of these things on my brain real quick. Uh, Sheila, stand up, please. How's Don? He's doing better. Well, that was easy. <laughs> Um, and then also I want to uh, thank uh, Fred Herlinger for putting the prayer box up. Yeah. He came in yesterday yeah. afternoon and put that in. Uh, a couple things. Uh, say hi to Stephanie Levi and Christine Lagerly. Well, I know Stephanie, that's not your name, but you know what I mean. And, uh, and uh, we're glad you're here with us. And uh, I think that's uh, my mom's all over the map today. But we're glad you're here this morning. I want to tell you a, 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 just something to get us going this morning. So I, I listen to a lot of podcasts. And I listen to this podcast. I may mention it, but I want to go into more detail. And this man just got saved, and he was telling, telling the, the person interviewing him how God changed his heart and mind. And all through the, this podcast, he's telling this woman who's interviewing him, I don't do those things anymore because I follow Jesus now. He must have said that like 30 times. I used to do this, but now I do this because God changed my heart and mind. And he's talking and talking. And then he starts telling the interviewer. And she stops him and goes, you know, I used to be a porn star. But God changed my heart and mine. And the things I used to do, I don't do anymore. And they're rejoicing, high-fiving each other that God saved them. So there's more. Okay. So, so this woman keeps interviewing this man. And this man's wild and all this stuff. And, and, and he says, you know what I noticed once I got saved? He said... I cry a lot. He goes, I never cried before much. But I'll watch someone in need and I start crying. I, and, and, and this guy's on videos now baptizing people. And I cry in the water. And I'll see you know, someone homeless and I'll cry. And I'll see someone sick and I cry. And I hear someone talk about the things of God and I cry. And the lady goes, me too. I cried for two straight years once Jesus changed my heart. End of the story is this. They're both saved. Yes. But the story is, they both said this at the end. Prior to Jesus, my heart was stone. I was so hard to the things of God. But now my heart is soft. Amen. And God is molding me to be about his kingdom. You know, that's not just a story for those two people. It's a story for us. Amen. Remind yourselves over and over again how God has changed your heart and mind. What you used to do is in the past, and God has called you to move ahead in the things of God. And you know what? It's all right to cry. You know? When you hear a story about Jesus, and if someone changed my life, you cry, don't you? Don't you get, like, what is this weird stuff coming from my eyes? It's, it's God in you. Amen? Amen? So let's open up a word of prayer. Jesus, uh, we thank you for a Sunday morning. And though it's raining and hot, which is fine with me. Lord, we're thankful that you are the God that allows it to rain on the just and the unjust. And you, and you allow it to rain and you care about us and you love us. And we, we thank you for, for, for whatever we're dealing with right now, that we can run towards you. And that we know whatever happens, that through the deepest of waters you are with us all the way through. Lord, be with us in this service this morning. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. All right, Abe, we got Abe coming up to a couple songs. Thank you, Abe.
called us to worship him. He called us for, for our country. And he translated us from darkness to light, from ignorance to knowledge, from unrighteousness to, to pursuing righteousness, to be righteous. Not because of our uh, deeds, but because of his kindness and mercy. We are called to worship him, and that's how we show back our thankfulness, our gratitude.
Hands aid. I like when you all sing at the end. Like, you can hear it, you know, all done together. That's kind of cool. I think, I think that's what we're going to do in heaven. So, uh, I'm going to put my microphone on. I won't be giving a mic in heaven for my voice. Um, hey, we have a couple quick announcements. One is, uh, maybe I think next week we'll work on it this week. Uh, there's a prayer box out there now on the wall. And I just want to let you know, Fred put this up yesterday. And this is what he leaves in the prayer box. But no. First prayer request, please do not lose Kate. Make sure there are no holes in your pocket. So, uh, but uh, it, it's just another way to, uh, if you don't want to share something, you can put it in there. It's confidential. And um, so Liam's going to connect with you on that. And then we've been talking about a while. It just hasn't gotten off the ground of putting a kind of a mailbox outside where people in the community can put prayer requests in. We've been working that off and on, but hopefully we can get that done. Um, but uh, a couple quick announcements, and I don't have the clicker. I think someone does. Liam does. Um, just want to go through uh, these items uh, quickly this morning. Um, ladies prayer group still meets Tuesday mornings on Zoom. And then um, uh, the, the group that meets Saturday morning, um, I know there's like a number of people that meet consistently. It's really cool. Um, they're going to meet through July. And then also I want to let you know a couple other quick things. Um, I actually talked to my friend Gary in Florida yesterday, who, who just saw Pastor Bass in, in Bahamas. There's up to 400 students at the school in Haiti. So what we give financially is still for church, food, the kids are getting fed. We just can't go there now. But um, I just want to let you know, things are in motion. Baz, as I say all the time, he does not go there anymore. It's too dangerous. He's labeled the rich guy. It, Haiti is a very dangerous country right now. But uh, things are moving. The kids are being fed. They're taught about God. School's in motion. So that's something, an extension of the kingdom that we've been doing for a long time. Another quick thing today is if you have food today, drop it off. You can drop it off anytime, but third Sundays is kind of our designated time to take it to the food bank in off of Beers Mill Road, uh, Mid-County United Ministries. Also, water wells, about $2,800 to round up. Uh, another quick thing to remind you of well is Araminta. You notice that movie about freedom with Jim Caviezel and all that? Um, this is real stuff. This is real ugly, sinful stuff, human trafficking. And uh, we do support our church, Araminta, as well. They work in the Baltimore area, mostly. And then another quick thing is, uh, I, I just want to say, Patty Lee, some of you know, you don't know her. Keep bringing in the stuff. I'm going to do a run this week with Mary, maybe, and drop it off at the storage unit for her. But uh, I got a text from another day, and one of the things it said is, hey, two of the people I work with are graduating from rehab, meaning they're taking another step in their rehab. And then she put in the next sentence, one, one of the individuals shot themselves. Oh. So, I mean, it's hard stuff. I don't know all the details of that, but I will be in contact with her this week again. That's, she's dealing in the trenches of really hard stuff. But she, if you've met her, she's about Jesus. And uh, she's a cool, I sound like a teenager. She's a cool lady. But, uh, but uh, so just want to keep praying for her and as we help her with the, even the items that you can bring, it, it makes a difference for her on the streets with people and how they can help people. Um, I, I, uh, if you haven't seen someone, call them. For instance, like you could call John Siri today. He uh, texted me, said he wasn't feeling good. Pete Lee isn't here today. That's weird. But Pete wasn't feeling good. So you can call him, too. If you don't see someone for a while, don't, I mean, pick the phone up, you know? Um, it's not me calling them all the time, but it's because they have the answer. Or they think they have the answer. But it's someone from the congregation calling as well. Yeah. That's important stuff. And then um, these business cards, Sheila brought, uh, talked to me about this, and I found hundreds of them that we used to do. Um, you can grab them on the Welcome Center. They'll be put out every week. And they're real generic. It just says, hey, church, 10 a.m. worship. So you can, hey, look for a church or whatever, boom. So um, we just want to let you know about that as well in, in our announcements today. And you, the, you know the nursery thing. If you need nursery, let Mary Shore know. And then the children are dismissed at this time. And want to... I want to introduce you to someone now without embarrassing on them. I do know, Ruth, wave your hand. You're new, wave your hand. There, that's Ruth. Wave your hand, all right. Just want to, just want to, just want to, 
didn't mean to embarrass you. I just saw you, and I, I remembered your name. So, um, but we want to pray together this morning. And I'm, I'm, there's this passage in the scriptures, Romans 8, 26. And I'm going to read it to you before we pray. It says, we do not know what we, what we ought to pray for. But the Spirit intercedes for us through wordless groans. So sometimes, for me, that means when I don't know what to pray, in my, Ugh, God gets it. And sometimes that's probably the honest most prayer. Ah! I throw up my hands, God. I want to read something I read today, and we're going to go on the prayer from this. It says, a prayer when I can't find words to pray. Dear Father, words refuse to escape my lips today, and I cannot find them. Not only do they stall before reaching my tongue, those same words float around in my mind, failing to make complete sentences, failing to join together in expressive thoughts, failing to unite my emotions and intellect. Oh, the agony of a soul at a loss for words. Yet you as creator, you have provided. For humanity grips my spirit, I get incredible strength from you. And when defeat nags my mind, the Holy Spirit intercedes for me with groaning too deep for words. How many have groaned this week? Thank you for your honesty. You, the God who knows all, intimately knows my heart. Thank you, Father. Amen. Let's pray together. Jesus, uh, we, we come this morning in our own groans. Maybe some of our groans we keep to ourselves. Father, today we lift up uh, Pete Lee, who is not feeling well. For John Siri, who woke up not feeling well. Lord, we, we continue to pray for Virginia Nottingham, for Don Facone. We, had, uh, we continue to pray for Spirit Madden, for Shannon Wiggins, who I believe is away right now. For Heather Johnson, as well as Shannon, in, in, in cancer in their body. For Nina, for healing. For John Moody, and um, for healing as well. As uh, surgery was a while ago, but it's still a painful process. Lord, we, we thank you for this church. I thank you for worship time and music this morning. Where we, we just all sang together. And what that looks like. We pray for angels of addiction. We pray for this woman who took another step in rehab. And Lord, we pray in Jesus' name that she would not have to deal with the, 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 the slavery of addiction anymore. We thank you for putting people like Patty and other believers in her way. Lord, we pray for the feeding ministry. Lord, we, we lift up Araminta and Lord, we pray in Jesus' name, like, like I, I just pray people get arrested. Nothing right from what they do to these children. And Lord, we know that the world is, it's evil. And we know that when sin entered the world, that it wasn't what was supposed to be. But Lord, you're a God who redeems. And as I spoke earlier today, may we remember how our heart was stone, but you changed it. You changed how we think and what we, how we live. Lord, allow us today as we get together in these small groups to, to, to talk, to, to, to hear what others say, to, to connect with others in the family of God at this church. And that we would know your voice. And that through knowing your voice, we would hear what you say. And that we would walk towards you and what we say. Lord, we, we give you this church. Lord, we, 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 we pray even for another rental church. Lord, we, we thank you for this church. We thank you for the, the many little things that happened in this church and how people take care of each other and look after each other and pray for them. For that is the body of Jesus Christ. And we ask all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Before we get into groups this morning, and uh, let me just uh, say, Abe usually is in the hallway. Is that still cool? Um, and Hazel's right back behind Abe. And I'm John Siri today. 
and I'm going to shoot over there. I think that's how we'll do it. And, and we'll just see what our numbers are, figure it out. We'll go one third, third, third. We'll do our best to do that. And but before we get going, I want to show you a quick video that will go over what you're going to be going over today. Thanks, Katie. Like I said, Abe's going to be out in the hallway, Hazel's going to be here, and I'm going to be over there. If we could get in the groups. Yeah, cool. Can I turn it off? Yeah. Katie, can I turn it off? Yeah. 